hello guys welcome back to this channel in this video i'm going to talk about a limit switch and also how to use it to control your load this component you see here is called a limit switch and this limit switch is a type of electromechanical device that detects the absence or presence of an object meaning when an object comes into contact with it it is either going to close or open the circuit something like this Now this bar you see here, this bar, you call it actuator, this bar, this bar is called actuator and this is the roller. So when an object comes into contact with it, then it is going to either close or open the circuit. And depending on what you want to use this limit switch for, if this actuator or this bar you see here is too long for you, you can adjust it. This is an Allen key size 3 you can just insert it here and then turn it you can adjust the actuator depending on what you want to build or what you want to do so if you want the length to be like this and or something like this then close it back again if you also want to change the direct this is the direction you want to change it you have to insert the same allen key tray at the side here you can remove it if you want it straight you can just do it like this and then you tighten it if you want it like this depending on what you are doing and then you tighten it okay so for the sake of this video, I'm going to make it straight and then tight it. Now, the function of this actuator is to transfer external force and movement to the built-in switch. We have a switch over here. This is the cover. I'll open it. Yes, this is the cover. And over here, you could see that you have four terminals. And this is the work of the actuator. You could hear the clicking sound. When I turn it like this, it is either going to close or open the circuit like this. It's either going to close or open the circuit. And this limit switch comes in different shapes and size. So over here you could see that you have four terminals others you have three terminals and two terminals this limit switch has four terminals two of them is normally open this is the nc nc meaning the down terminals these two terminals just normally close and the top here is normally open i would connect it to a load to see how it is going to work so if your limit switch has three terminals it means that one of the terminals is going to be common or the live common and l1 and l2 the normally close and the normally open something like one gang two way switch three terminals one is going to be common and the other two nc and no if your limit switch has two terminals it means that it is either normally open terminals or normally close and as i said it comes in different shapes and size okay without wasting my time i'm then going to connect a load to this limit switch to see how it is going to operate i have my digital multimeter here if you are not sure of the normal close and normal open contact you can then use a multimeter to check it so that you'll be sure of it and then you use it to do whatever you want to do i've turned it to continuity okay the downside is the normal close contact yes this is normally close the top side is normally open okay this is normally open so when an object comes into contact then it's going to close this is the normally close the normally close when an object comes into contact then it is going to 
I have my load here, so I'm quickly going to connect the load or the lemme switch to the load. I have this lamp here, connect the lemme switch to it. I'm going to use the normal open so that when an object comes into contact, then it's going to close. And one thing you have to bear in mind is that whenever you are using a limit switch, you have to make sure that there's a moving body or a moving object. Right now, I'm using my hand to do it. Wherever you want to use it, you have to make sure that there's a moving body. Without that moving body, this limit switch is going to stay in one position. If it is normally closed, it is going to be normally closed forever. If there is no moving body around this limit switch, you can install it at the top side of your door or your main gate. The moment you open it or you slide the gate, then it is going to work. So as I said, I will quickly connect this limit switch to this lamp. What I will do is to connect. This is the live. I'm using the red as the live and the yellow as the neutral. Connect the live to the limit switch. The cable must pass through this hole over here. I'll just insert it like this. Now, I'll close it. Yes, this is the live to the limit switch, the normally closed contact one side and from the other side to the load okay guys just now we are done with the lemme switch connection the light coming all the way from the breaker to one terminal and from the other terminal to the load or to the lamp holder. I'll then close it. This is the neutral, the yellow cable. Guys, we have successfully connected the lemme switch to the lamp or to the load. If this is industrial motor or something like that, this is the load. So we have successfully connected the lemme switch to the load. So the moment I turn on the breaker, there's going to be a flow of current from the live terminal to the lemme switch, the normal open one terminal. The, the current is going to be trapped at the normal open terminal where I connected this red cable. Okay. So right now, the current is being trapped at the normal open terminal one side. So the moment I turn it with my hand, then the limit switch is going to close the contact. So the current is going to flow to the other cable, to the lamp. So guys, our load is operating correctly. The moment a moving object comes into contact with the limit switch, then it's either open or closes the contact. I connected the live cable to the normal open terminal in the lemme switch. So right now, the normal open is maintaining its normal open. So the moment an object comes into contact, then the open is going to turn to close and the close is going to turn to open. So guys, you could see that we have IT over here. This is thermal current rating of this limit switch. Have it down here, and it is 10 amps, meaning the load that you are going to connect your limit switch to 
the current rate of the load shouldn't be more than this 10 amps if it is more than the 10 amps then you have to use a contactor how to connect this limit switch the live must be connected from the limit switch the live must be connected to the a1 of the contactor and the neutral to a2 then you connect your load the terminals and let's say this load we have here is a three-phase motor the only thing i have to do is to connect the input and the output to the motor then the switch wire coming to this load must be connected to the a1 and the neutral to a2 so the moment an object comes into contact then it is going to work when an object comes into contact then the coil inside this magnetic contactor is going to energize when it energizes the contactor closes and the current will start flowing to the load So guys, if you find this video helpful, kindly subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so that anytime I drop a video, YouTube is going to notify you. Thanks for watching this video. See you in my next video.